It is super windy, but hopefully you guys can hear me. So we just got this a few weeks ago, this um, grill cover, and I just kind of wanted to show you a couple of things that I like about it. It does seem to be very sturdy. Um, it doesn't cling to the grill like it shows in the pictures, but it still fits really, really well. It has this really great like drawstring at the bottom where you can adjust it if you need to tighten it up to make sure it doesn't fly off. It does have this reflective strip as well. And it also kind of accommodates the little fluke here. So I will take it off in just a second and show you the actual like how to put it on and the quality of it. This is the drawstring right here so you can loosen it up. It has plenty of string. Then of course you can cinch it down as tight as you want. Let me remove it so I can kind of show you how big it is. Let's see if I can do this single-handedly. Probably not. All right, so this is what the cover looks like removed. This is our grill. We have the pit loss and I mean, it is a pretty big size. I don't remember the actual measurements, but you know, it accommodates the whole, the cover accommodates the whole thing, which I really like. And again, that's what it looks like off. I will show you how I put it on in just a second. Because it was a little bit more on the windy side, it did take me a little bit longer to get this on. However, once you kind of get both sides on, it just simply slips down, as you can see here. It is going to kind of hug the shelf as well as the little pellet receptacle. And then all you're going to do is cinch it up at the very bottom and make sure that it is tight and secure.